With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is 100 ml of 0.2 molar H2SO4 is added to 100 ml of 0.2 molar NOH. The resulting solution will be. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do is to find out the milli equivalence of both of these, right? Of the acid as well as the base. The one which will have higher milli equivalence will be the resulting solution, right? If the milli equivalence of an acid is more, then it will be an acidic solution. If the milli equivalence of a base is more, then it will be a basic solution, right? A very simple approach. And if they have equal milli equivalence, it means that this is going to be a neutral solution, right? So if we talk about the milli equivalence of H2SO4, that will be the molarity of H2SO4, the volume in ml into its n factor, right? Molarity is 0 0.2, volume in ml is 100, n factor is 2, because H2SO4 gives 2 H plus ions, right? It dissociates to give 2 H plus ions, so its n factor is 2, right? Which means that you have uh, 2 to the 4, right? So we have basically 40 milli equivalence, right? 40 milli equivalence for H2SO4. Whereas if we talk about the milli equivalence of NaOH, that will be the molarity of NaOH into the volume into the n factor is 1 because it gives only 1 OH negative, right? So this will be 20 milli equivalence. So, without even doing anything else or without even calculating the pH, we can simply understand that the milli equivalence that you can see for H2SO4 is greater, right? H2SO4 has 40 milli equivalence, whereas the milli equivalence for NaOH is just 20, okay? So, what you can see here is that the milli equivalence of H2SO4 is greater than the milli equivalence of NaOH. Which means that H2SO4 is present in excess. And when H2SO4 is present in excess, it means that the resulting solution is going to be acidic, right? Because H2SO4 is present in excess, the resulting solution is going to be acidic. And so will be your answer, which is given in option number one. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.